One of the diesel generators started a fire in the engine room, which is really not the ideal place to have a fire. The fire soon spread to the electrical cables, and the entire ship lost power. In the olden days, when ships still needed sails, not having electricity wasn't an issue. But for modern cruise ships, it's kind of a big problem. The fire was soon put out and nobody was injured, but the damage had been done. The ship, which had 4,500 people on it, was just stuck in the water without electricity. There was no way to restore power to the engines, so the ship had to be towed by a tugboat back to California. Since there was also no power for air conditioning or refrigeration, the passengers of this ill-fated cruise had to be fed some other way. The Navy landed helicopters on the ship and handed out rations. I think the military getting involved is a sign that your cruise is not doing so great. All passengers had to be refunded for ticket and travel expenses. And they also got a voucher for a free cruise. I wonder how many of them actually took it, considering how well their last cruise went. The whole incident was rumored to have cost Carnival $100 million.